everyone welcome back i hope you're all okay it is a little bit of a long video um for today's video but bear with me i feel like this is probably the best character nail i have ever done i am so proud of myself um so i've grabbed always and forever and spirit guide both from madame glam i also have madame glam's um black gel paint born pretty's milky jelly gel born pretty's pat paint gel in white because i've run out of madame glam's white paint white art gel paint stuff um but i do end up grabbing a few other colors that i will i don't think i show but i will let you know what they are so first things first thumb nail is going to be always and forever two coats of that I'm using super super long um square nails to try and get the most of like the space for the artwork um which i think worked out really really well spirit guide on the pinky two coats of that as well they take 30 seconds to cure so nice and quick for the last three now so the index middle and ring they're all going to have born pretty's milky jelly gel in 05 because it is my favorite jelly nude absolutely love it i'll show you the first coat of that and then i will do the second coat off camera like i did with the thumb and the pinky and the next nail we're going to be working on is the index finger again uh we're going to grab the spirit guide I need to stop saying mm and uh because I feel like I say it a lot, but it is what it is. I nearly said it again then. I've grabbed my favourite brush and I've done a French on the index finger with Spirit Guide. So we're using blues and pinks. I know you've seen from the thumbnail what it is already. It's all blue and pink, a nude theme, a little bit of white, lots of sparkle. I just absolutely love it. And I'm thinking after I did this, I was like, I'm putting these up on Etsy. I love them. But then I was thinking, for like the other hand, we could do the reverse colours. So pink on the thumb, blue on the pinky, blah de blah. And Angel, the other character on the ring finger. Or is it the middle finger? The middle finger. But you'll see, you'll see at the end what I, what I mean kind of thing. Uh, so we've done blue on the ring finger, French. And then when they've had, when the Frenchies have had two coats each, I'm just going to take the opposite colour. So for the pink French, it's going to have a blue outline. And for the blue French, it's going to have the pink outline. That's only going to be one coat for the outline though. That doesn't need any more. So velvet matte top coat, all of them. And then using Spirit Guide again, the pink. Uh, we're going to use Madame Glam's dotting tool, but you can use any dotting tool. You can use a cocktail stick toothpick if you wanted or a bobby pin or the end of a paintbrush so this went a little bit awry but we're doing a hibiscus flower so each petal has three dots at the very tippity top of their petal the very edge so those three dots will get connected and just drag them down almost to create those petals and then once they've all been dragged down, I'm not going to cure it. I'm going to grab Sparkle Supplies. It's Gold Crush and I friggin love it. It's super, super fine. Super fine. And it is so sparkly. I love it when it's like burnished onto a recent, like a, a fresh painted set that has still got this sticky inhibition layer on it. Burnish that onto there. Holy moly, it's gorgeous. Sprinkle that on, give it a cure, and then you can dust off. Because I was so nervous about doing this set, I'd drawn it out what I wanted, how I kind of wanted it to look. I changed a few things up on the fly as I went. Um, but the reason I did like one flower, sprinkle the glitter, cure it, dust it off, do the next flower, is because of that. Because I was so nervous about what I was doing and I didn't want to like commit to anything straight off the bat uh but if i was doing it again it's going to be so much quicker because i know what i'm doing now and um, so that's why i thought i'm going to put it up as a press on set for etsy i can do both of the flowers and all of the white bits the white leaf elements all in one go sprinkle the whole uh nail in that gold crush glitter and then cure it for a full 60 Obviously, if I'm doing the flowers one by one, 
and then curing. It's going to take so long, which it did. But yeah, I can do the whole thing and give it all a dust. Uh, give it all a sprinkle and then cure all in one go. So it's going to cut a lot of time off. So I hand painted the leafy, palmy leafy kind of style, whatever it is, but I wanted a monstera leaf. Now I cut this out because the video is already super long, but I got my stamping plate out and I went to put the monstera leaf stamping pattern on and it just wouldn't go on. I just kept on smushing it on the nail repeatedly and nothing was transferring. I was like, oh my God, it's a matte nail. Completely forgot that you can't stamp onto matte nails. So then I was in a little bit of a predicament because I was like, I'm not comfortable enough or confident enough to draw and paint a monstera leaf. What the heck do I do? Do I base coat just the area where I want to stamp, which I could have done, but I couldn't be bothered. So I grabbed the stamping plate and I just use it as like a reference picture to try and hand paint. And I friggin love it. It actually turned out really, really well. So I've kept like little holes in like a Monstera cheese plant does. Uh, filled it all in white and then obviously sprinkled that with the gold crush glitter again. So you can save 30% at Madame Glam using my code Little Nail Room 30. You can save 10% at Born Pretty using my code TLNR10. You can save 15% at Sparkle Supplies UK using my code TLNR15. And there is lots of other discount codes in the description box of the video and on my About page on YouTube. I think it's a page. I think it is. Um, I do one more of the palmy leafy style things near the bottom right. I do one on the top left coming down, but I don't do that on camera. We want to add the little centerpieces for the, the his, hibiscus, monstera leaves. Uh, I do end up sprinkling glitter on them as well. I, I thought, let's not show that because it's just a line and some dots. I've added some glue gel, gel glue, and added some tiny tiny little clear gold backed AB crystals and that one is done and we've done the exact same thing to the pinky but blue hibiscus flowers instead of pink so I thought I haven't used crystal parades crystals for a very long time I've got two they're only little drawers but I've got two drawers full um of their crystals so I thought I'd grab the opaly elegant opals the rainbow mix Unfortunately, they're hot fix. I ordered the wrong ones. Didn't realise until they turned up. I was like, no. Um, I'm going to use the same ones that we've put on the thumb and the pinky, uh, but two different sizes. And then I don't know what these ones are called because they were like freebies from Crystal Parade. These two sections, all of this stack is Crystal Parade, but they were like extras, free stuff that didn't come with like a, a name on the bag. So I have no idea what they're called. I have searched the website, uh, but I just can't find them. Um, I was showing you the pink, green and blues and the opaly white ones that are from Sheen. But Sparkle Supplies sell a better quality version of those. So when they're out, I'm going to be going to Sparkle Supplies and ordering these. I don't know why the green is open. We're not using green. We're just using the pink, the blues and the white opaly ones. Just grab all sorts of shapes, sizes, colours. As long as it's pink or blue, it doesn't matter. And I'm just putting them in like a, a swooping, swoopy swoop <laughs> around the cuticle. Um, coming down to the right. And I feel like after I did this set, because in my head and on the picture that I drew, I was like, yeah, this is all this nail needs. It just needs that crystal placement in that top corner. Um, but then once the whole set was finished, I haven't stopped looking at it. It's been a day and I keep looking at this nail thinking there's something missing. So when it's finished, have a look. Let me know what you think. Does it look like there is something missing? Does it look like something else needs to be added to this nail because if it does then my my gut feeling is right <laughs> and i need to do something about it 
So you're going to get little gaps when you're doing crystal placement like this. Um, so try and find the smallest crystals you've got to fill in those gaps. And if you can't, if there's still gaps, you can use some caviar beads. Um, you can get them in all shapes and not all shapes. They're caviar beads. They're round. But you can get them in all sorts of sizes. Um, so just use them to fill in. This is like the second from largest size caviar bead that I've got. And it did, did well. It worked wonders. It filled in all the gaps that I needed to fill in. So as far as I was concerned at that point, that nail was finished. But not anymore. I just don't know. Uh, for the other finger, the ring finger, that is the opposite of the one that we've just done. It's a blue French pink line. We're going to do one of the palmy leaf things and one hibiscus flower in the bottom left. Cover it in glitter. Dust it off and then add that stamen is that what they're called it's been a while um since i've looked at the anatomy anatomy of a plant uh i've grabbed those pearly opaly things again we've done blue white pink and we filled in the little gaps with caviar beads and now we're on to the last nail my favorite of them all so i've matte top coated i've grabbed a pencil i didn't press record and I drew the little outline of stitch. So hopefully you can see it. Pencils go on really, really well on a matte or a buffed nail. Um, I think it's Christine Katharina Ketty. Katharina Ketty? Is that how you say her name? She did it years ago when I was watching her. And I don't know why I've never thought to do it. But... I started doing it recently with the, I think it was about seven or eight, maybe ten months ago, I started doing it. And I was like, this is a freaking game changer. It is perfect to put down a design rather than just going on a blank, blank nail with your brush and your paint. Obviously, you can wipe it off or whatever, but pencil, definitely, definitely try a pencil. I have mixed a little bit of the Pink Spirit Guide with a bit of Born Pretty's paint gel, the white paint gel, to create a nice pale pink. Filling in his ears. And because I have mixed a 30 second cure in gel polish with a 60 second cure in gel paint, we are still going to do 60 second cure because the paint one takes longer. So give it that full cure, even though you've mixed it. Now the next little bit of filming is a bit invalid sort of thing. I do his nose using the blue, black and a little bit of astrological goddess, I think, a little bit of purple. And then I mix a little bit of the white pa uh, gel paint with the blue, the, the always and forever, do the circles of his eyes, then realise I should have done his eye circles first and then his nose. But I wasn't too happy with the shape of the circles, the shape of his nose, the colour of his nose. And I think I get up to... Where do I get up to? You'll see it in a minute. I end up doing his nose again two more times. One of them is off camera. The good one is off camera. Can you see though? Look how crap his nose is. So I mix a little bit of the white paint in with the purpley creation that I made and I thought I think he's got a little bit of like extra colour on his nose and I just didn't like it there was something off it kept on bugging me so I outlined the whole thing outlined his ears and his hair outlined his nose added his nostrils but I think I add his irises as well the irises pupils to his eyes and then that's when it hits me this isn't right it's just not right. So I start recording and I take the spirit guide and I paint it all again. I completely get rid of his face. I redo the pale blue. I do them first and I elongate them. And then I'll do his nose in earth sign from Madame Glam again. Um, and then I add the nostrils back in outline his nose, I outline his blue bits, you know, the pale blue bits around his eyes. So the eyes are like alien looking. 
So when I did the black eye parts, it was then that made me think those pale blue parts just aren't right. I didn't know what it was. And like I said, it just kept bugging me. So I had to take a breather. I went downstairs, I grabbed a coffee um, and I came back up to it and I didn't press record and I was it's just... But this is what it looks like. This is the, the finishing thing. So I've elongated those blue bits of the eyes to go with the shape of his, his eyes, the black parts. I've made the bridge of his nose wider and I've shrunk the size of his actual nose a little bit. I'm going to add some wrinkly bits on his nose and like above his eye and a little bit down below his eye. I tried to see if one of those lines should be lower or should it look better higher so I did one on each side I went with the higher one add the whites of his eyes and then we're going to take the pale blue and just highlight all over Stitch's face we're going to mix a little bit of white in with earth sign the purple for his nose from Madame Glam and we'll add a little bit of highlight to his nose as well and then we take a little bit more white because we mix spirit guide the pink with white pat paint gel and um, to create the color for his ears but then i just added a little bit more white to do the highlights on his ears and then i added a little bit more pink to do some some darker deeper um contoury low lights <laughs> i don't know just some definition on his ears is all um but yeah, and then I matte top coat the whole shebang and I'm so, so pleased with myself for sticking with it. Back in the day, I would have just rolled with not necessarily it not looking right, but not realising what I needed to fix. And I think that's why I'm so not necessarily proud of myself, but yeah, a little bit proud of myself for what is that noise? Of course now it stops. But yeah, I think we're just taking a second, stepping back and looking at it and getting five minutes to myself and then going back to it to, to look at it again sort of thing and to realise what went wrong. And I'm so glad I did because look at them. Is it just me? Am I biased? I freaking love them so, so much. But yeah, what do you think if we did the thumb pink, like the pinky and the pinky like the thumb? The ring and the mid, the index switched around and then angel instead of stitch. Do you think that would be good for like the other hand? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think we need something else on the index finger? Because I'm just not sure. But I really do hope you like this video. Please do let me know what you think about those things that I mentioned. Um, everything I've used will be linked in the description box down below, as always, along with discount codes. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit like. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It means the world to me. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.